Hello, everyone. This is Paul with Jones and Four Tools, live from the JFT studio. Today, we have a question. Do we really need stubby ratchets? All right. So, the other day, I ordered some stubby ratchets because I, I really didn't have any stubby ratchets. And I bought this cheap set off of um, uh, Amazon and they're Duralast. But in this set, you get a quarter inch, three and a half, or it's, it's quarter inch drive, but it's three and a half inches long. And uh, I said, oh, okay. You know, I was looking at them, but here I, I was able to buy uh, the quarter and the three eighths. And they were both, I think 19 bucks with a couple extensions and a little holder. And uh, this is the three eighths. And they were just like a regular ratchet. It's just they're short. This three eighths is uh, four and a half inches long. So I'm going to compare this this uh, small three eight stubby to a regular size one, and we'll use this old. Um, yeah, this is three eighths. This is the old snap on, and as you can tell, the length difference is quite a bit. This is the standard size. Uh, let's look at the the head. Now this has a pretty fat head on it compared to this old snap on. The thickness, and I think the dura lasts a little bit thicker. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. But um, but there's also other ones here. Here, for example, this is a small. What is this brand? Uh, it's a cheapo power build, I think. And look, it's just a little bit longer. Oh wait, no, this ain't a fair comparison. This is a quarter inch. Okay, my bad. All right, let's just put this back. All right. So here we go. These are both quarter inch. The power build is actually thinner. A little bit longer. But the, the thing about a, a stubby is if you're if you're trying to get out a, a bolt or something and you don't have a lot of space for your thing to work, even if you use the extension, you may not have enough room to move it up and down to to tighten it or, or loosen it. Because even with a little bit more length, it might get in the way. So I personally think you need every option available. And, uh, but like I said, I didn't have any. And I wanted to get some, uh, Gear Wrench had some, uh, Tekton, I mean, everybody has stubbies but I did it. So I figured since I'm not going to use them that much, I'll take a chance on a cheap brand Duralast and just to see what happens. Um, but, uh, I, I love ratchets. Um, I have some expensive ones like snap on Mac Co and Mac, and I have some cheaper ones like gear wrench tech. Then, um, now this is one of my new ones. This is Vim. Uh, this is a long quarter inch. It's just different. I also like the different styles. I like soft grip. I like uh, the teardrop. I like different ones. But uh, this one's pretty fine too, Vim. Um, I don't know. I just like it because it was different. And here's the oddball too. This Milwaukee. Um, and this has been great. This is a nice handle. But the thing about this ratchet, you can't buy it by itself. You have to buy this little kit that comes with sockets and everything. But it was an oddball, and, and I do like using this style of ratchet. At first, I, I didn't like like this style because I, I have other ones, Pittsburgh, Tecton, uh, yada, yada. But, um, but I tell you what, ever since I started using them, man, they're pretty convenient. Uh, my my go-to, of course, is, is a 3 8 regular length, soft grip, and I, I have other ones too besides these. This, these are just a couple of my collection. But I just wanted to, to ask you, is it worth buying a stubby set? And you know, with the stubbies, you're not gonna put a lot of torque on them. So I didn't really, I couldn't justify paying a higher price. So I hope these work. But if any of you have used the Duralast ratchets, especially the stubbies, let me know you know, how they worked out for you. Um, I did buy this one. This is a quarter inch uh, Titan. And let me tell you, this is a piece POS. This this thing locks up almost every time I use it. Uh, 
I like the color uh, and everything else, but you know what? This worthless, worthless. I don't mind paying something for something, but I want it to work. And this was a fairly new one I got. Uh, they don't make this no more. They had a problem with their, their patent. It was too close to something else, um, to the uh, Knipix Cobra. And, uh, but this one I thought was pretty cool. Nice little handle, different quarter inch. Uh, let's see, here's, here's another old one I like. This is the old Mac. I like collecting vintage uh, ratchets. I don't use this. Uh, I just I just keep it in my collection. <laughs> I don't even know how many. That sounds pretty terrible. Um, probably what, 2832? Uh, if you know how many uh, gears are in this, let me know. This is, this is old school. There you go. But anyway, listen, uh, here at Jones and for Tools, we value your time. We appreciate you watching. Uh, we, we, we thank you for subscribing, liking the video, leaving a comment and sharing it. It, it helps. It just helps my channel grow where I can reach out and, uh, you know, show different, more people, these videos on, on things that we all like. Um, hi, my name is Paul and I'm a, and I'm a tool addict and I like being a tool addict and I'm going to keep on collecting tools and using them. But, uh, but listen, once again, thank you, and we look forward to seeing you on our next video. Have a great day.